I gotta at least get this. He's this guy is against the spin switch. So he's a yellow jacket, hydro press. You getting it in there without dreaming it? There you go. Get it. You got the eco blue over there. With the mist You got the fresh ones in the fridge. Oh, it split it. Solder fills, bitch. Oh. Well, too busy to take many video clips, but back out at the daughter's house the next day. Scored uh, a unit from somebody. And uh, getting it in here on this Saturday to get it going. That's actually a heat pump. And this was a straight cool, so brother I was up in there adding the red wire to the transformer up there so we can power the reverse valve all the time on this bitch. Hopefully get them some cooling today. Got the Eco Blue out. So I missed the water. Just spewing it. Look at that. I think that's cool. So it's not, not too bad in here. Not too bad right here. It's like you got cooler blowing on it. So I got it evacuating now. And uh, hope to have it uh, running soon. There she be. Actually sounds pretty good for a wham bam. Thank you, ma'am. Saturday afternoon special. Shit. Cross your fingers. Started. Here is the compressor out of the daughter's unit that fried. Actually just seized. Oil's mostly clear, but came out kind of dark also. Of course, there might have been a little bit of coke left in here. But dude, well, I dumped the coke out. But that's how much oil I poured out of here. So I'm really glad I did that before I cut it open because it would have been a huge mess. Now i got to put that in another container. Oh, I forgot how much work it was to cut through one of these. The last time I did one, I used a plasma cutter, which cut through post haste, but it also made a freaking inferno. So let's see here. There's the top. Let's see. Uh, of course, there's gonna be a little bit of powder in here from uh, just the fact that I was grinding in there. I could tell that I really needed to grind under the weld, maybe eighth to a quarter of an inch, <laughs> because I uh, got the dome off. However, if I unbolt this, the scroll part's not gonna come out. It's gonna, it's gonna hit. I think. At least I guess I know it is. <laughs> Ooh, this stinks. I had to get a little medieval on this thing. So let's see if this is loose now. So I put it pretty hot down in there. Okay, just uh, got the scroll section separated. I expected maybe to see some thing like shattered in there. Although I guess maybe not because it did pump, as I said. It is this tight? So let's see. I've seen these uh, torn down quite a bit. There's like a coating. Just think of like bearings, you know, in a rod bearings or main bearings. There's like coating I think on some of this, but you can see when it really makes contact and starts to wear like horribly and nothing's obvious actually here at all. So it might not actually be this section that's foobar. This stuff's a little warm in here still as I used plasma to cut through the last bit of it. Okay, let's check this out. That might be where it's kind of fuckered. Let's see. That might be metal to metal right there. Let's shine some light on this subject. Just a little warm still. So. Hmm. Doesn't feel all scratchy or anything. Oh, wait a minute. Is that a, is this a counterweight? What is this? Kind of guessing that it is. Motor bearings feel actually pretty good. <laughs> you know what? I need to, I should, I should hook this up to power. <laughs> Is that making contact? Not really? Hmm. 
It certainly wasn't happy. You guys heard it. Uh, trying to feel this. Might be a little tight. Hmm. Well, you know what I have to do now. You gotta hook something up to make it run. Here's where the fun comes. So this is a single phase compressor. However, to some extent you can run them with a three phase input from like a VFD until it gets pissed off. So I just use this for a safe way to control it and control the speed so I'm not doing uh, messed up shit like this. And actually, I probably just put my safety glasses back on, which I did wear the whole time while cutting. Okay, 10 hertz. Just That's funny. Is this tight now? Oh, it is tight. Look, I got it to be tight. Oh, there is something wrong down in the motor section. So I think the issue was in the motor section. So we're going to... That's just... There it goes. It is getting some slip. Oh, here's under voltage because it got pissed. So I did have this running pretty good a second ago. Off camera. So that sucks. I have to add a... Let me see if I get it to go again. I had it running and I actually ramped it up even. It was kind of ridiculous and that's why I wanted to record it. Okay, let's do that again. I think actually the plug came loose down there. Oops, there we so we will change the frequency so it stops slipping. Wow. Something's going on down there. 40 hertz. Oh man, this thing's going to do something when it catches. 60 hertz. What the hell's going on? I don't think that's just the magnetic field rotation we're hearing. Let's stop it. Dang. Yeah, that's stopped. Man. Um, there might be a lot of slop down there, and maybe it actually has the uh, little bit of separation between the shaft and the freaking rest of the rotor. But this, this isn't turning freely now. It's stuck. I mean, it's really stuck. Wow. Let's see if I can break it free. Times like this is when you need the big, ugly Harbor Freight crescent wrench. There we go. Okay. Oh, yeah, you can hear some noises down there. There we go. Might spin again. There we go. This thing has issues. Ah, I pissed it off. You know, looking down in there, I can see, you know, the, the whole rotor where the magnetic field would be turning everything. You know what's funny is that three-phase unit I have in my uh, in my Frankenstein unit, if I, if I start it too slow and don't get up to a minimum speed, it sounds like it's not spinning the rotor. And then all of a sudden, when it gets up to a certain speed, it, it, you can hear it. But I think it's just the, the way the scroll is seating. It off. I'm gonna see if I can put some of this back together. I want to see if I get anything to spin before I give up on it. I think it's kind of foobar down there. You know what else? And maybe somebody, if you guys remember, there's no way that this piece, which is this, the order I took it apart, there's no way this is just sloppy like that. I'm wondering if this piece of metal I see in here, see this piece of metal? that slides in here locks. I have the feeling that it connected to something down in here perhaps and it broke. There's no way this just sat like this. No way. Look at, oh yeah, it hogged it out. I think that had a shape to it. Okay. This got hogged out. Look at that thing. Yeah. I think that's our main failure right there. 
I think this hogged out all of that right there. What do you guys think? Somebody has any photos of a scroll? And I've seen scrolls apart. I don't remember ever examining this piece, though. I'm not exactly sure what it is. It almost seems like it's a counterweight. And you can tell it had to have, it had to have been machined to fit right there, and then it wobbled out. And then this piece goes up here. Yeah. I don't even know if I want to try putting that all back together like that. This thing's nuts. I gotta wipe some parts off. Well, I put it all back together where I can see anything, so I was record the first time I turned this on because this is probably gonna shoot out everywhere. Yeah, it doesn't slip on the bottom end, that is. Is this the sound we were hearing? Yeah. Okay. Got it spot welded back together just so I can scrap it. Unless somebody wants to buy a slightly used compressor. 